Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd? For mail. Yeah! What's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here, with a brand new video from Do You Nerd. All right, guys, as you see, we got a couple of packages here. And Mail call! And we know what's in these, but we still wanted to share with you. So, which should we do first? This one. All right. Because it's bigger. Bigger is better, right? So this one is something that uh, we decided to procure from a fellow YouTuber, JP Switchmania. Come to Switchmania! Come to Switchmania! <laughs> That's my best Tasmanian devil. <laughs> but again, this was an example of the community at work because he had made a post on Twitter and uh, he had something that I thought was kind of neat. And I was like, hey, if you ever decide to get rid of that, and he's like, actually, if you're interested, I can get rid of it right now. All the bags. I want to know just how mania are you about the Switch, man? Like deep down. Lots of oh. bags. Oh, there's foam in here. We gotta be careful. There's peanuts. Stupid song. What are you looking at? I'm probably not the kind we can eat. It's making a mess. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. That was rough getting that out of there. <laughs> what we got? Boom! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's big! A slime controller, and this is for the Nintendo Switch in honor of Dragon Quest XI. I believe the PS2 had a controller like this, and I actually always wanted to get that one. Back in the day, I, uh, I didn't have, you know, quite those out of country contacts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't, I don't think we had like Play Asia back then, which is where he got this one. And so I kind of wrote it off that, oh, that's just gonna be one of those collectibles I'll never get. And then when I saw this, I was like, wait, they re-released it on the Switch? That is awesome. So of course I had to get it because it, it was calling to me. It's like, this was my second chance. And we happen to love the slime in our uh -huh. house. I have uh, a slime I made for you. She does. I love this thing. Look at this little crocheted guy. He's so freaking adorable. I love it. And I I will say I am covering up his eyeball because a little he one. He lost it in battle. He did. We had a little one over and she, little one pulled it off. <laughs> but I have my own slime. That's just what the noise I imagine they make. Now this we actually happened to get while we were up in St. Charles uh, attending Mo Game Con. We found this at a wonderful store in the mall of all places called Slackers, he's and she so fell in love. He's so, so let's get this guy out of his box. And there he is. So he's got kind of a uh, it's a hard plastic, but. It's almost like a matte finish. Yeah, so it's he doesn't really neat. feel like he's going to slip out of your hands and you actually turn him upside down. Oh, poor little guy, all the blood's gonna <laughs> do, do slimes have blood? It's gonna race and, to their head. And that's how you use the controller. And honestly Is it comfortable? It's not as uncomfortable as I expected it to be. So it's like a like the pro controller? I kinda, uh, well, I mean it just really cradles in my I don't hands. mean like it's designed like that. I meant like it would like substitute for the I think pro so. controller or something. The uh, the buttons they feel just a little bit off, but if you're using the shoulder buttons and the uh, the joysticks, for me, that doesn't feel bad at all. The the directional pad and then the face buttons, mm, it, they don't feel like they're in the right spot. Seriously though, it is nowhere near as uncomfortable as I thought it would be. I, I thought it would just be very weird to hold and I really relegated it to, oh, that'll just be a shelf piece. I'll never even try to play it. Honestly, I think I may give it a go with this. Honestly, you couldn't have any smaller than my hands though because I could almost <laughs> barely reach those shoulder buttons, but that is so super cute. Well, he's a big slime. His uh, eyeballs and mouth are rubbery. And the box outside of the case even has some fun stuff to go uh -huh. along with it. He comes with a little plastic stand. It has little holes so that you don't mess up the analog uh, joystick thingies. And inside the holes you have little slimes. And on the front, if you look closely, oh, it nice. says Dragon it's Quest. Embossed. So yeah, you just set them on there and now he's on display with your cable to charge them up. 
And then there's some cardboard do-it-yourself stands for him. The instructions are in Japanese, but I, I think we got this part figured out. Because it's got out. pictures. So he guards the treasure chest like that. And then check this out. They even give you a little stand to put your switch on. How cool is that? <laughs> that is pretty great. I love that. I will say now, even though we like to take stuff out of the box, he does come with a crown that you can put on him, but we kind of don't want to destroy the box to cut the crown out. So we we will probably not do that. But I actually do kind of like just like the nice brick here. Nice little brick base. Yeah. Nice. Seriously, I have been a fan of Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior since the NES days, and you really did help me cross something off my collecting <laughs> bucket list by finally getting the slime controller. So thank you so much. Guys, please be sure to hit that link in the description mm -hmm. below to Go check them out. Mania. Go to Switch Mania! Go to Switch Mania! Okay, our next box is from our Drunkle Joe. Uh, but no, it's it's from this crazy guy, Joe, that we know who, uh, he had something for us, too. He was like, hey, I've got a good price on something, and I thought a couple of nerdlings like yourselves would be interested. And we said, uh, yeah, we would. So, how about ladies open this one? Okay. I like that tape job, by the way, Joe. I know, do you use electrical tape? Oh, Whew, you can smell the booze just coming off of there. Well, if we have to mail anything, we are good. We are set. Whoa! <laughs> Check it out. The Sega Genesis Ta -da -da! Mini. Look, even the box is mini. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> so what's cool about this is actually Joe really did get us a great yeah, price on did. this. Uh, I think we ended up paying like 40 bucks. We paid 45 so, with shipping. So, so that was super awesome because this was one of those systems that we wanted to get for the mini collection. Yeah. But uh, we were like, oh, you know, I don't think there's going to be any shortage of these. We might wait a little yeah. bit. Plus, there were a bunch of other things we were kind of grabbing at the time. You mean a Switch light? <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, the Genesis Mini comes with 42 games because they still had a one-up Nintendo and the Super <laughs> Nintendo Mini. <laughs> they managed to pack all that blast processing into such a little box. If memory serves, this looks like the Sega box when it came out, didn't it? I, you are right. I was going to say, I thought it looked very familiar. I know that everybody else out there has already done an unboxing, but we just got this, so we're going to go ahead and unbox it because we want to see it for ourselves and we're going to bring you along for the ride. And so I after love you. Mini things. Wow. They did not go mini with the controller. Well, most of the minis haven't though. They have been the same size, if Are you, you remember. Sure? I Pretty feel like sure. some of them are smaller. Yeah, that does feel good. I Even though I had a Super Nintendo growing up, a buddy of mine had a Genesis, and we would just play whatever game system we were at, whichever house we were at. And I always liked the feel of the Genesis mm -hmm. controller. Those rounded edges really have a and much more pleasing... somewhere for you to put your hands down. Yeah, yeah. Especially on the back, there's almost like that grip indentation. Mm -hmm. Listen and to that. Listen. What a satisfying noise. Very good responsiveness at all the buttons. That matte finish feels really yep. nice. And that looks like a pretty decent sized cord too. So no hugging the TV while you play. Booklet letting you know, hey, don't, you know, shock yourself playing this. Don't shock the monkey. Hid me cord. Hid me. And then the power cord and a power brick so already one up in the whole ps1 yeah. classic just saying oh can i as you wish oh it's just so satisfying 
Now, I'm sure that everybody has seen this already, but it's got that lovely Model 1 view. You can open the <laughs> That's a one-upper, too. The other ones wouldn't let you do that. Now, this is because you can buy the Tower of Power, remember, All right. which are just the plastic attachments, and I feel like they missed out. They totally should have made it to where when you plugged those in, you had a selection of uh, 32X yeah, games and Sega CD great. games. So again, that lovely Model 1 design, the high definition graphics <laughs> right there. Big you old 16-bit. You can move the volume slider. The power switch works. Even the reset clicks, which nice. is nice. And uh, you got your controller ports. Oh, it looks like it wants to open. And it does. Nice. Because you have to connect that Sega CD to it. That is the, the one on the bottom or the one on the side. With the model one, make sure you've got that extra bar for the extra link. <laughs> you trying to sell the Sega again? That game I'll there. take Sonic and Genesis. <laughs> I knew that. The funny thing is, is this, you know, is a Sega Mini. It's the first time we've gotten the Sega Mini, but it's not the first time we've had something Sega this small. This looks almost exactly the same size as that port. The computer port. USB port I got oh, you. Oh right. She's hooked on just the door alone. I just love the door. Now, of course, I've heard nothing but good things about this. One, because of the selection of games on this thing, but also this isn't the whole uh, at games debacle where you get the junky games thrown in there, but they also picked really, really good games. Me personally, even though we own it in the collection, I am so looking forward to get some Gunstar Heroes time in on this. There's Altered Beast power up. <laughs> Rise from your grave. Some Castlevania on here. Pretty cool. Landstalker was another really fun game. If uh, if you needed a Genesis game to kind of scratch that Zelda itch, Landstalker was a pretty good one. Oh, Vector Man? My dad loved playing Vector Man. He played that all the time. There's some Earthworm Jim. There's some good stuff on here. Groovy. Road rash. You, you really need some cream for that. <laughs> you need a chain to whip those other guys. Another mini to add to the ever-growing mini collection. Joe, thank you for thinking of us giving us a shout out so we awesome. could buy this for a price that we were happy with and you, you know so it's going to get so much game yep. time man looks like we need to make another order from rose colored gaming it, absolutely stand. <laughs> you're one of those gorgeous stands to put these on you know something whenever we get mail in this house i'm pretty happy with the mail we get this is great so we've got some fun games to play and fun ways to play them Nerdlings, if you happen to like the video, drop that like. Leave some comments down below. Let's keep the talk going about the Sega Mini because it's got so many great games. <laughs> and let me know if you've ever tried out the Slime Controller and what you think of it. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Be sure you subscribe. You never know what's coming in the mail next. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise. And if we like it, we nerd it. It's as big as you, Slime. That's it. That's it, it up front. Mm. Sort of. <laughs> Everything is wrong with that picture. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Do you nerd? For, you were supposed to say for male. What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd? For male. It's Mail time! Never mind, I couldn't remember the song. I was gonna sing a Blue's Clues song, so just go with the first one. Go with the first one, Tom. Because I got all flustered because we kept doing it over and over again. Surgery like precision. What's he saying? What's he saying? Please don't kill me. I'm just out walking. I'm sliming. Slimin'. Rest sliming. <laughs>